Hey guys, thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I just want to go over this real fast. I have had a lot of people send me questions or a question. Uh, which shift solenoid is A and which shift solenoid is B or the one, two, and two, three, whatever it is. Uh, but real fast, valve body is off. Uh, your a, a shift solenoid that's nearest to the accumulator, that's going to be your shift solenoid A. This will be your shift solenoid B. To get them off, real simple, you have this clip right here. One clip right here. Take it off. Shift when it comes out. You have a valve in here that you should take out and clean out every time you remove this too. I think there's two valves in here actually. Put it back on. Same thing with this one. Some of them, well, they are. This one is spring loaded, so something to take into consideration. Uh, you're going to inspect right here if you have a problem, see if this is all filled up with gunk. What is gunk in my desk? Here's one of my old shift solenoids. You can see how dirty it is. And put your shift solenoid A back. Clip. Then you're good to go. You make sure that these valves are really clean too, because if these valves aren't moving, it'll give you a code for your shift solenoid. So you want to make sure that these are these valves are moving, these valves are moving, your spring is good. Uh, if you have your spacer down here, spacer all that. So that's it. Uh, this will also be a code fix. I forget what the codes were, but I'll let you know. So that answers the questions on the shift valves that I keep getting, sorry, shift solenoids I keep getting for this uh, 4L60E. So hopefully it helps out your A and B uh, solenoids and on your DIY project. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys on the next helpful video.